With compact scripting, instruments can have custom control panels called performance views. This allows you to control instrument settings without switching into edit mode and allows you to create a custom user interface. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a performance view that lets you control a low pass filter in a group insert effect slot. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. So continuing our look at setting up custom performance views in contact, this tutorial looks at building one for a group insert effect, um, the simple filter. So this allows you to, to control the simple filter without having to go back into instrument edit mode. So let's look, let's take a look at the simple filter. This is a new filter that was introduced in so I'm not sure what version this was introduced. The reason why this caught my eye is because in version 5.3, being able to control the the um, the cutoff from for both the low pass and high pass was introduced in version 5.3. So that's that's really why this caught my eye as far as using this for performance view. So if you look at the module mode, you can get some more information about this um, simple filter. Um, and basically, it is a combination of a low pass and high pass filter. Um, and if you see the little notes here, um, some uses for this is sound shaping with coloring. So it's basically a combination of a one pole ladder low pass and an AR two pole high pass. Okay, so it's pretty basic. You have your cutoff low pass um, frequency and then your cutoff high pass frequency. All right, so let's get started with the code. All right, so we're going to initialize we need perfume today title messages all right so we need a knob I'm gonna call this one knob cut off LP going to set the parameters one two three one, two, three. Gonna move the control. Let me just copy this. Move it to one, two. Gonna set the text. Gonna set the units. And the unit is Hertz. I'm gonna set the default value. This is a value that I've used in the past. Um, it works for other cutoffs, so I'm assuming that it'll work for this one. And this is actually wrong. It's 400. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And then I'm going to set the label with the actual value from the engine. So I'm going to call get engine parameter display. Oops. 
engine. So this is the new parameter that was introduced in version 5.3. Um, normally it's just engine parameter um, cutoff, which is basically all the cutoffs for all the filters available. But because this filter is, uh, is unique, you can directly address this filter. So the, the LP part of it is LP cutoff. And I'm going to put this in a group slot. I'm going to put it in the first slot and it is not at the instrument level so that's what that means and then I'm going to make persistent all right what did I do wrong this is the parentheses and a typo label no, it's not my day. Label. There we go. So now we have our cutoff knob. All right, before I continue, let me go in and actually add the filter. Okay, so it's in the group slot. Slot zero. Okay, now I'm going to take this and copy it and make my second knob I'll call this one HP so just paste the name and make sure I change the, the parameter to HP And I also need to put this to two, two, two. All right, there we go. So we have both our buttons. So now we need to actually can respond to control. So we do on UI control. Do the low pass first. Okay, so I need to set the engine parameter whenever you turn the knob. So I'm going to use the same one, um, engine parameter, LP cutoff. I'm going to pass in the name of the knob. Once again, I'm in the group, zero slot, no instrument. I also want to set the knob label. I actually can just copy this. Makes it easier. And just copy this, make one more, and do it for the high pass. All right, let me scroll down so you can see it move. Oh, and something is wrong with my label. Okay, so there there are a few typos here. I'm just going to correct. Just make sure that I have the right um, values for the knob. So this is low pass, low pass, low pass, low pass, low pass, high pass. Here we go. High pass, high pass, high pass, high pass. Alrighty. 
There we go. And there we go. So let me close this. And there we go, a simple filter being controlled in the performance view. So if you're new to making your own performance view and contact, be sure you take the time to look through some of the other tutorials on, on the topic before you leave the site. And if you have any questions at all, just let us know. We're happy to help you figure it out. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. I'm going to make some music.